For you guys that don't know, I was just asking my Heavenly Father, how do you want to start this? <clears throat> my instructions, act natural. And then I just asked, well, this is new, which is my way of telling my Heavenly Father, So look at it this way, beloveds. This video I'm making right now, and it hasn't been uploaded, but it was uploaded and you watched it two years ago. In our mind. So many will say, Lord, <clears throat> your first ministry started in Galilee, according to scripture. It's almost like you are the Jesus of the Bible. At your service. <clears throat> Canaan was, was, was the promised land, the promised land, the promised land, where I am leading you, beloveds. And for many, including my wife, because in my prayer time, I asked a simple question. Are we doing a Mary's Daily Bread? <clears throat> Our Heavenly Father, her Heavenly Father said, of course, which is also my way of asking my Heavenly Father, is she watching these videos? So we are getting to conversation and communication, my love. <clears throat> so my wife basically met me. I am your biggest fan. Later on, she would see me walk through walls, her apartment, per her prayer request, face to face. And when I say face to face, through comments a long time ago, if you're really Jesus Christ, come into my apartment right now. So when you're looking at time, to us, me and my heavenly father, it's already done, beloveds. So we start day 784 of my fight with my prodigals. <clears throat> and when I met my wife, it was basically, I loved when you did this. I, I never did that. Or when you said this, never said that. Well, this person said that you lived here no. and you've never done this I have done that and you're a fan huh? well how could I know get to know me <clears throat> So, um, the Levant and my bloodline lines up with Messianic prophecy. His origins will be of ancient, the ancient of days. Well, your name is this. It's not El Shaddai. No. Okay. And you? No, your name is, uh-huh. Not Elohim. It was, but then it turned to. Uh -huh. Okay. And some will say, Lord, you can't just walk in and be the procurator and administer and just commandeer truth. So if you're asking, 
read the Gospels. That's how I'll respond to things. That is why it's there. So I'm going to use the Gospel as our authority. So there's no wishy-washy. But the Scripture says this. The scripture does not contradict itself. You need to be looking at the fact why it was written, who was writing it, what was the situation with Israel. And I will remind you, you are a stiff-necked and rebellious people. And it probably wasn't very loving to say, I'm not going with you because I might destroy you. <clears throat> but that was a different time. And my wife has witnessed my Mount Sinai rants, which she seems to be amused by at times. But I think it does get on her nerves. So... <clears throat> Mary, we have already seen you here. We anxiously await your arrival, as does your adoring public. You guys, per the uh, words from me through my prophets, are receiving your instructions on your reconciliation. As we do this day by day, and you will see all of my videos blend together on a very narrow and straight path, as it should be. This is about love, beloveds. My love for you. That is what this is about. <clears throat> Look at it this way. Here's how this will help many of you, especially because there are witches. This is their season, technically. When you're having negative thoughts or thoughts that are going against what you are hearing me say at this moment, personify it into a little dark string swirling around your head. Because that is entirely heavenly, biblically accurate. And when I was taken up into the air and I was walking around, I was following the false Holy Spirit that was personified as a woman with a phone. True story, as are all my stories. I walked into a field and I just saw all these demons swirling around. <clears throat> a vision into the unseen, which you would assume I knew about, right? So I would be someone to listen to, that's why I'm here. <clears throat> I woke up this morning and this person can't even text me and then I felt somebody else, I don't really believe it's him. Well, in the gospel I was able to know these things. I am exactly the same, beloved. I can cause situations that will make your prodigal want to text you, but it wouldn't be the circumstances that bring the prodigal back to you happy, humbled, grateful for you. So that's what's occurring now as I speak. One of the problems me and Mary had, and I love speaking to my wife, but sometimes she would say things and then her mind was demonically oppressed, but <clears throat> her free will and choice to believe was the equivalent of whatever I say is true. And it never was, never was, never was, babe. So our fights that we won't have anymore stemmed from how do you argue with someone when what they are saying is not feasible or possible? But it's cemented in them. So many of you prodigals, you were living a life that was never going to be what you wanted it to be. 
it was never going to change. Almost like you were living the same day over and over and over and over and over and over again. When I met my wife, it was, this is my new life. So that's way more than love at first sight. It was a combination of that and being home. You were introduced to your kingdom spouse by me. The circumstances are part of your testimony. So now, <clears throat> bare minimum, you should be able to text each other. We didn't have phones. I had prophets. So prodigals, I would invite you. Some of my prophets would ask me questions. Some of my prophets, I don't understand. I'm just gonna do it. <clears throat> I prefer, I don't understand. I'm just gonna do it. I don't understand. I'm just gonna do it. Because then you have a chance for your faith to increase. You're bold as lions, as you are suggested to be in the scripture beloved <clears throat> and you know that i'm walking with you then you both have a testimony of my goodness in your life the kingdom marriages will eventually be turned around to the world this is how much god loves you because of jesus <clears throat> because he is jesus and jesus is him We'll break this down to little syllables. <clears throat> Rather than the uh, thought process many have in the wilderness and the Israelites had. So Lord, the beatings will continue until morale improves. Is that what we're doing? No. No. However, <clears throat> those beatings come from the darkness that you're in, not from me. A prodigal's path, you're outside the kingdom. Your protection is over here. <clears throat> your hedge of protection is around your kingdom spouse. And I'll remind people, Your love is what you need to be rebuilding. And that comes from the trust. You can't have the trust without the clarity. You guys need to have these conversations because your kingdom wedding is already waiting for you. <laughs> Blessed are you that I am here and doing this for you because this time I am coming with you. Because I'm gonna marry my wife on paper. I told her I was going to do that, so I don't know why she's surprised. <clears throat> so in your prayer time that you will be either already have been in and now you're getting your answer or your prayer time that, okay, I will talk to you, Lord. All I ask. You'll feel better, I promise. And then I'll point you towards one of my prophets. Whoa. So when you look at the Bible and then you look at the kingdom of God, you see that the kingdom of God is just like the Bible. Then you come to the conclusion the Bible is good because God is good. And the Bible is how I revealed myself, right? Lord, that was a nice speech. But if you don't put on a toga, I'm not going to believe you're the Lord. Okay, look. <clears throat> it is 2023 and the last day, beloveds. For my wife, I wear a towel 
And I do that often, but I'm also saying, right now you don't understand what I'm doing, but someday you will. Do not deprive yourself of the joy and happiness your spouse, because I am in them, will bring you and the clarity. Allow yourself to live. Allow yourself to be loved. And when I look at this generation, it's like the New Testament and the Old Testament. And God regretted that he made man. Their thoughts continuously are nothing but evil. In the last day, they will not be lovers of God, but lovers of self, self, uh, selfish, disobedient to parents. Everybody knows the scripture, backbiters. <laughs> not lovers of good. <clears throat> so what we are doing <clears throat> is giving undeniable proof that the kingdom of God is here. You are a part of the kingdom of heaven if you can hear my voice. Recognizing the times helps your discernment. Because I put confirmation in front of you throughout your day. I looked at it as, and by looked at it in my prayer time, <clears throat> well, there was my heavenly block of fame. So, Lord, doing things outside of my will is never going to be sufficient for you for that day. Because there will always be another path you could have chosen that would have been more than sufficient, exceedingly and abundantly more than you can expect or imagine. So, <clears throat> have the conversations, allow your mind to be renewed. Let's confirm in scripture, we always do that. Mary, let's renew your mind, my love. Perfect. So the heavens and the earth were completed and all their hosts. So God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it as his own. That is, set it apart as holy from other days. Because in it he rested from all his work, which he had created and done. And the Lord God planted a garden, oasis in the east, in Eden, delight, land of happiness. So that is where I am leading you to, your land of happiness, your protection, your sanctification has been completed. Now you two come together. I heard perfect. I love you.